on to get it started now. The kicker, Chris Boswell. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. A first carry for Tyler Algier. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll stick with Algier. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing is Williams. Ooh. He's got this downfield to McBride. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown, Chicago! Trey McBride, 67 yards. And the Bears march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. Following the touchdown, here's Elam to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Chase the motion man right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs partner this was much more of a tap pass but effective nonetheless and I think both guys love it if you're a quarterback it's an easy completion if you're a wide receiver you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet Mahomes gonna throw Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Oh, and that is incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Here's second and ten. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hit zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Here's Mahomes to throw. It connects quickly to Jamar Chase. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 39. 
15 yards there on the catch and run. Well, when you're facing a receiver like this, you always come into a game thinking, we've got to put our best corner on him. We've got to find a way to get him off his route, limit his touches. But that plan, not working too well on this opening drive. That's already two catches for him, and this one, good for a first down. Now it's Mahomes and Chin. Oh, oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Still in the first quarter, but what a great start for them. I mean, they've controlled the airways, Charles, on both sides. They had the passing touchdown. Then they intercept the pass of the other squad and take it back for another score. Brandon, I know we have a ton of time left, but what an early backbreaker they just delivered. They're up early, and they appear to be totally dialed in. And that offense, they're forced to run right back out. Still shaking up a bit, but feeling the pressure to put something on the scoreboard. They've got to be careful here. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Oh, he still makes the catch, even though it was tipped at the line. Look at the big fella go. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. And what a letdown after a huge play. He's going to pull this in and then set sail for the end zone. And he nearly made it, too. But he's going to be tracked down just short of the goal line. So And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Patrick Mahomes scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Niners are back within a score. So the big play to kick off the drive set him up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown, we saw the payoff, but of course that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. <laughs> and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They work now on second and nine. Now a carry for Algier headed right. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 40 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Algier with another carry. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. 
Give him a yard down to the 43. From the 43, here's second and nine. Trying the left side with Algier. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 36. Well, that second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Algier will try to pick it up. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first and ten, it's Algier. He gets away from one. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and four. Algier going straight ahead. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. They'll give Dow Jir out of the gun. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Give Dow Jir from the shotgun. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Williams going to sneak it. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Williams. Ooh. And he takes this one in for a Bears oh. touchdown. Trey McBride as the first half is winding down and the Bears will extend their lead here just before halftime. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Carlson's extra point up and good and it's now 21-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. 
hard enough. Oh, it's crazy. Single shot before the half from Mahomes. Looking deep here for Chase. Oh, no, I'd be sick. Oh, I'll be a little tight about that one. I ain't gonna lie. Play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And with the clock at all zeros, they get the touchdown to make this just a one-score game into the lockers. And you know what else it does besides boost their confidence? Ball too, right? <laughs> it doesn't change your game plan any. See, if they're down bigger going into the half, you may have to revise what you plan to do in the second. But now in this spot, within one score and striking distance, uh-uh, you go ahead and keep playing and do what you'd worked on all week long. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. We got a little A-chan blocking on that play. It's crazy. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wait, when the hell do I get him? Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that passes. Are you liking Luke Keefe? Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for. Hey, is that a nice train over there? Nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Yeah, that's now trying him. That made it too fast. Now here's Mahomes. That's complete to DK Metcalf, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Hell yeah, that's night training, no, sir. Play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So into bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35. Here to see what you mean button shot to jump, buddy. Mahomes to throw once more. Catch is made by Metcalf. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. I was hoping he was going to use it that to the one. -yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the ten. Here's Pacheco once again. And tackled down after a Not me trying to run over Luke Keith. With one yard to go on third down. I have to think a major that was not smart. Means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double. Ah. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. 
A six-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Boswell good with the extra point. And we are tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. I couldn't take the chance. This will be returned from the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense after that last touchdown we just saw Charles we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half and Brandon this drive is all about one word to me and that's the word answer because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half keeping them in the driver's seat to throw Williams Jones goes diving well, I'm a little tight and this this wide open like that and as they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play especially with nothing else in their area that's kind of crazy on this third quarter you are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports Here now, up the middle. He'll get this down to the 38. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 38 now, here's second down at seven. To the air, Williams. Oh. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. Now a handoff to Algier. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down, eight yards to go. Off the play fake, it's Williams. Ooh. That's it. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown. Valus Jones from 10 yards out. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the two. lead here in the fourth. Obviously a huge touchdown for their team, but a big touchdown for a rookie quarterback here to be able to break the tie in the fourth quarter. And he just shook off all the pressure, too. Because when you think about it, tie ball game, rookie quarterback, most of them are thinking, don't make a mistake. Instead, this young man just said, I'll make a play. Important extra point up and through. And they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Elam to kick it away. Oh, a 
dangerous return man showing it here. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Hey, put, uh, put Night Train on the bench for me real quick. Please and thank you. They'll come up first and ten here. That motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God. Mahomes to throw it. A hit as he throws there incomplete. It's kind of crazy. The ball didn't help. Just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Here's second down. I know Luke Bailey. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Oh, why you don't click on him? <laughs> about the 43 that time. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Well, this defense needing a stop here. Got to have it. Third and nine. Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Wait, what's that? Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he can hey, man. Get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up now on second down. Uh, no, I might have fucked that up, but we got to see. Quick slam cut by Chase. And remember, field goal does him no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. You'd have picked the one I wanted. Damn. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. This offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Enough. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Okay. Here's Mahomes. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And while it appears the heavy lifting 
was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call, and this, in effect, is your ball game right here. Mahomes will throw. And it is caught. They got the two points. Oh, hard feelings. They've taken the lead. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Okay, Chan. The 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Ah! This ball Jeez. is accepted. And the Niners are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Never panic. I came in lax. They built the bomb, first bomb of the game. I think like first player, some shit, threw a pick six. You don't panic. Make an adjustment, slow it down. Eat them up at the end, Paul. Big Paul.